happy Sunday. Let's get ready for church. I had an outfit in mind. I wanted to wear my black skinny jeans with my white, black and white striped long sleeve. But I just remembered Johnny ruined that long sleeve in the wash. So I don't have it anymore. So now I gotta think of something else. So next Sunday is Easter. So I know I'll, I'll wear like a dress or something um, next Sunday. So that's why today, happy Palm Sunday by the way, I wanted to wear jeans like space it out or I could do my maxi dress here but that's another dress but this isn't like this doesn't feel fancy like those other ones Ugh, decisions decisions what do I wear okay I have my black skinny jeans so we'll wear that but we have to find a different top okay you can't really see but it's like kind of sunny outside but it's like chilly at the same time so like this would be like cute right this blazer but I know I get really hot inside church so I don't want to be like sweating inside I haven't worn this in a long time maybe this might be kind of cute or do I want to go the more cozy route actually this sweater it makes me think of fall so no we'll save this for fall if I did an all black moment, do you think this like pale yellow blazer would be cute? I have still never worn this after I thrifted it. I have never worn it. Okay, well, we'll find out what I decide to go with, but I need to hop in the shower now. Okay, I think we are gonna do this. Maybe, I think so. Oh, look who's ready to come inside. Did you have a good time? Come on in, did you have a good time sunbathing? She was right there in that little spot. <laughs> have to put Zoe's bed in the dryer. She had a poo poo accident this morning, so I had to wash her bed again. After I just washed it like literally yesterday. Okay, I'm gonna work on my hair. Oh, my skin is so dry. But Johnny's in the bathroom right now, so I can't go in there. Um, Let's just start with primer. So I'm gonna do my face stuff once he's done. Um, so I gotta brush my teeth, put on my contacts. I'm just putting on this primer right now though because my skin just feels so dry. Okay, let's see what we're working with. Scary, right? Oh my gosh, I just broke my nail. How does someone with no nails break their nail? How? Maybe I'll wear my hair straight just because I know it's faster, but I kind of want to curl it. No, I'll just wear it straight. I'll curl it next week. Yeah, I think I'm just going to straighten my hair because that'll be a lot faster. but they're like the type that it takes like a good 10, 15 minutes for them to like adjust and settle into place. So like, can't really see perfectly right now. Okay, Johnny's playing worship music right now. So let's do a time lapse because I don't want to get flagged for copyright. Um, we have been going to a church that's closer to us. We love Lighthouse so much, but they're so far away, which has been like the biggest struggle for us. So we're trying to find a new home church that's a little bit closer. So we've been going to one right now, um, and that was a good service. They talked about the woman at the well. I love that story so much. And they even shared a little clip from The Chosen, which was cool. Pretty cool. And then during worship, Johnny looked at me and he he thought, we we both thought like one of the songs they were singing was Gable Price and Friends because it literally sounded like, it wasn't, but it literally sounded like Gable Price and it Friends. Did. That was really cool, but. Dope service. Anyways, that was good. Dope. And Johnny's wearing glow. Set free, set free. Quick little 
after church outfit change. Got the Vans on. And this is another glow shirt. It says Yahweh and it has flowers. Look at how cute it is. I love it. And nothing on the back. This one doesn't have anything on the back. What size did I get on this one? I've been sizing up a lot on these. This one's an extra large, which I actually really like the fit. I like it's loose and comfortable. And then some of the other ones I have, I got like 2X, which I really like. In this crew neck, I got a large, which I kind of actually wish I got an extra large. But you guys saw me wear it the other day. Like, it fits great. I just like the more oversized look with these designs. This Joy one. This one's cute. His love endures forever. Like, and then it has Psalm 136 right there. Friend of God. After his heart. I think that's so cute. I want Johnny to wear this. Is this 2X? Yeah, I want Johnny to wear this. It's so cute. After church, meal. Carlos Jr. Carlos Jr. And we're watching Padres while we eat. Let's go, Pods. What's up, guys? I love Sundays because we get to go to church. We get to be around family. And we get to watch Padres. Go, I hope Padres. you guys are all having a good Sunday. And we're we love waiting. you guys. We're winning. We're winning. <sighs> Christian got a home run. And now it's time for another Cooking with Jack Jack. Today we are going to be making fresas con crema. Something Johnny has been requesting, so we're going to make it nice, sweet, creamy. And it's going to be really quick, really simple. And so let's go ahead and begin. First, you'll need strawberries. We got two because we got a little too excited. You'll need evaporated milk. Weirdly enough, you'll need some sour cream. And you'll also need some sweetened condensed milk. You really only need one, but we grabbed two because we like things extra sweet around here. You'll also need vanilla extract and a little bit of whipped cream. Okay, let's begin. We're gonna first start by washing our strawberries. Now let's go ahead and cut our strawberries in nice little bite-sized pieces. We have our strawberries, beautiful. Now in a bowl, we are gonna mix together all of the other ingredients and we will fold in the strawberries last, but let's go ahead and make our sweet creamy mixture. You wanna take 16 ounces of sour cream and bonus points if you use a Mexican cream like a crema, that'll be even better, but we're gonna use good old fashioned daisy sour cream. We're gonna put this whole container in there. I know it sounds weird, but stick with me, stick with me. The next thing I'm gonna add in here is our whipped cream. I'm just gonna use whatever is rest in here. Okay, that's half. We have half of this left, so I'm going to throw that in here as well. Let's go ahead and mix this up a little bit. Next, we're gonna add one whole can of sweetened condensed milk. This is 14 ounces. I'm just gonna put the entire can in there. Beautiful. Let's give that a little mix. I'm gonna use about half of this cup of evaporated milk. Pour, let's make a hole over here so it can breathe a little bit. There we go. And then last but not least, we are gonna add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Whoops, <laughs> or a little more. <laughs> and that's basically everything that's gonna go in here. So let's just give it a good mix, make sure everything is nice and incorporated in here. And then we'll add the strawberries. It's gonna be so yummy. Let's do a little taste test, shall we? So good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And obviously if you want to make it creamier, you can add more whipped cream. If you want to make it sweeter, you can add more condensed milk. Oh my gosh, so good. We're going to add the other sweetened condensed milk that we have. Johnny requests that this be a little bit sweeter. So I'm just going to dump all of the strawberries into this mixture. And you know what? Now that I look at this, I think I'm going to add the other thing of strawberries. I think so. So basically do half of everything that I did if you wanna just keep it to one package of strawberries, but I think I think we could do another thing of strawberries. So one moment. A few moments later. We have more strawberries. We can totally leave this as is, but I think it's just gonna be so good to have extra strawberries in there. So let's just go ahead and dump those babies in. Let's give that a delicious mix. Do you see how amazing this looks? Oh my goodness, 
And that's literally it for this recipe. How quick and easy was that? Anybody can do this. You do not even need to be a cook. Anyone can just throw this together. This is gonna be perfect for any events or gathering, birthday parties, um, get togethers. This is so delicious. Nice little dessert or snack. Let's go ahead and serve this up and then Johnny and I will be back with the taste test. Look at how amazing that looks. Ooh la la. Okay, we are here with our taste test. Look at how amazing this looks. Let's go ahead and try it. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. So good. This is just one of those recipes you can't mess up. It's so simple. It's so delicious. As long as you got your sweet and condensed milk, this is gonna be bomb diggity. If you haven't tried fresas con crema yet, I hope you give this recipe a try. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in the next Cooking with Jack Jack video. Bye!